Now for this particular SS guy, I'm going with the Autumn Oak Leaf. Um, so for the Autumn Oak Leaf, we're going to need, in the SS Paint set, we're going to need German Camo Black Brown. This is a fantastic colour. We're just going to add a drop onto our palette there. And this is where the important stuff starts happening. So, what we want to do, uh, the best way to describe it is start making you some random camo style lines as such. In random spots over his um, over his clothes, being careful that you don't hit some of the work you've already done. Just random squiggly style lines in camo. Style patterns. Don't do them too thick, but also at the same time, you don't want them super, super thin because you won't get your um, oak leaf into it. Something like that. Let's get the zoom in here so you can see. If you have a look at those. Just random style squiggly lines like that in German, in German camo black brown. Now we're going to take a color called uh, light Vallejo light brown. Now this is this is sort of the important bit. This is almost like an orangey brown, and it's very important that um, to give you that. Uh, convincing oak leaf pattern that you use this brown and this is um, this is probably one of the hardest bits to do but now we're going to do really really fine small dots inside these black brown um, camo style patterns that we've already put on so um, if you can if we can get this in nice and close and we'll have a look you sort of want to tattoo him style and it has to be dots, like fine dots you just, you, you can, um, I have tried just painting in, in amongst it and it just doesn't look convincing And some you want some dark um, like some thick some not so thick um, how's that coming out there and um, you want some bright some not so bright so on and so forth this is the bit that I find the most challenging out of this And we just want to go and do our dots all within the inside this black black brown camo. Grab his knee here.
and then you sort of want to step back a bit and look where you could go for a little bit more of that colour so we just grab some more black brown and put it where you think it should be a bit more camo I think there should be a little bit more there, a bit up underneath his tunic there. Um, a bit there on the end of his sleeve. And we go back to our light brown and we dot this in again. That's pretty much all it is. Um, as you go along, you'll probably get more used to it the more you do it. Um, but you definitely want really, really small dots of all different uh, thicknesses, uh, sizes, shapes, brightness um, to give you that convincing autumn leaf camo look. And that's pretty much his camo done. It's very easy to do. It's not a hard camo scheme. Um, if you were doing spring, you would use uh, German camo dark green. And you would go with the German... For, you would use the German gamma, camo dark green for the brown spots that we did. And then you'd go for where the light brown is on this, you would use German Camo Bright Green inside, and that'll give you the spring. Um, and then P dots, totally different uh, altogether. So from here, we go on to his face, uh, or actually gun. Um, then we go to his face, and then we put some marks on his helmet, and he's ready for your tabletop. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, now let's get this in focus. Um, now we want to do his gun. Um, we're going to do all the timber parts of his gun in vermin brown. Now I like this vermin brown. As, a, as I've said once before, I, I reckon it gives a very convincing timber look. Um, it's a little bit brighter, which is good. It um, stands out a little bit more, which is sort of what you want. You know, you don't want everything being really, really dull and timber, uh, earthy, especially when their camos and stuff are so earthy as well. So it's good to get a little bit of contrast, a little bit of brightness of some description in there. And that's one of the reasons why I like this colour. Um, when we're painting this, just got to be careful. You don't want to get too much on his hands. Um, as as I say regularly, uh, you want to try and preserve some of the detail. And the best way to do that is just paint what you what you need. His barrel's a bit bent, but oh well. He's just a demonstration model. So that's the timber done on the gun. And now we go and we'll block all the metal parts in with gunmetal grey. So we want to get the bolt, the magazine, the barrel. There's a ring here of metal. We want to get that. It goes around here. Just 
Let me just get that. And that's that. Now we want to get the straps of the rifle. I like to use a totally different leathery colour to what we've used on him uh, with his entrenching tool and stuff. So I go for snake bite leather. I find it once again gives that uh, that contrast that um, just breaks all the colours up and makes everything very singular singular and um, really starts to pop just like that and next we go under the skin.